everyone. So today's video is gonna be based on throwing for accuracy. We're not looking at power here or throwing too far, just trying to throw where they want to throw and get that aim. Now you may need to speak to them about what is accuracy or to be accurate. A lot of the younger children won't know this. So today's teaching points, we're we using a tennis ball or a bean bag. I'm gonna start with the bean bag. Point, step, throw. You can also go point, step, swing, but just those three words, keeping it very, very simple, and that will help them remember. So point, step, throw. When they do their throw, they can switch their arms. Some children will forget and throw like this, and they don't get that twisting motion, which keeps it going straight. So try and get them to swap their arms as they go. When you go to overarm throws, one of my later videos, and try and get power, you'll see how the step goes forward and helping them get more distance and more power. Hey everyone, so this is one of my favorite games, it's called Flip It. Just need a hoop and a bean bag or a ball or anything you can use that's similar. I always like to get the children throwing from a line. Very simple game working on accuracy. I like to have no more than two, so pairs. Definitely not threes or fours because you can just have lots of children going at the same time. At first, get the children just to explore. They've just learned by doing. So if they miss, they miss, they don't flip it. If they get it in, they flip it. Once you flip it, you come back to the line. So they can just toss it like that. If they get it in, flip. They can do overarm, if it goes in, I thought I missed that, flip it. They can try left-handed, they can try their feet however they like. Once you've played the game once or twice, or got to a certain point, play for a minute, then add some teaching points in. Point, step, throw. Very easy to start. If you get it in, I always get the children to say, flip it, so they remember. Then they go back, sort with their partner. Get it in, flip it. Every time they get it in, keep flipping it. When the hoop gets further and further away, you might say to them, how do we get um, a bigger throw? How do we get more power? We can talk about swinging the arm, you can talk about leaning back and transferring their weight forward, and you can also talk about overarm throws. So this game is called Rigged. The game is very simple. You just need a ladder or something that looks kind of like a ladder, and your aim of the game is very simple, to get the bean bag into every single rig in the ladder, step by step. So the first, the second, the third, and so on. When you get to the end, you can also add in a hoop or something a bit further away, just to give that final prize. You can also play this as a paired competition or a team competition, have two teams either side, two sets of colored cones. Once you get it in one group, you can put, say, a red one in. When the blue team gets theirs in, they can put a blue one in. That way you know which team is up to which and you only need one or two beanbags. Point, step, throw. If you get it in, put a cone into that area. Then we know that one's complete. If they've got partners or a team, they give it to the next person and then go again. Another favorite one of my games is called Battleships. You can play this in so many different ways. Here's a really simple way. The beanbags are my uh, missiles. The cones or the flat markers are my battleships. The aim of the game is very simple. If you hit one of the battleships, you bring it back and you put it in your hoop or your base so we know how many you've got. Point, step, throw. If, we, if you hit one, you go get it. 
You put it back in your comb. Now, again, on your own, in pairs, not threes, fours, fives, because there's not enough turns. You could have 30 children doing this all at the same time. You can also have different targets. So you might have some that are worth more points, like a flat marker might be worth more points, or different colours are worth different points. Bring in their numeracy skills so then they can start adding them up at the end of their turn. Once there are no battleships left, they add up their score. Similar to battleships, this game of fitness battleships is another one I really, really enjoy. It's a great way to work on locomotion skills, also fitness skills, and getting them really, really active. Now this is a paired game, and I like to use exercise markers. You can use lots of different things. You can make your own, put them on a piece of cardboard, print them, uh, put them on a clipboard. It's up to you. I've got things like star jumps, pencil jumps, lunges, V-sits, squats close, and a bit further away, tuck jumps, burpees, and push-ups. So you can play lots of different rules. You can say, if I hit it, my partner has to do two or three star jumps, then it's their turn. You can say if you land on it, so the beanbag actually stays on it, they have to do five. Now I like to do easier ones close and the further away they are. So that's just touch push-ups, I think. Yeah, just touching. I can tell my partner now to do three. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed them and got something out of them. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. And if you really enjoyed it, share this with some of your friends and other teachers and hopefully they'll be able to do the same. I look forward to making more videos for you in the future.